slide, show as God as my God. Any petty little bullshit you did was slide. Same on my end. After all, what are we friends? And niggas ran me just so much around me. Defend in the honor of brotherhood. This is all good. Get on some wrong man shit and let's knock on wood. But now I'm seeing you, baby, in a sold out position. Wondering who's the zombies that you kissing. You might as well make the jig it and take my life. Cause the zombies you happen to be kissing is my wife. Shit, I should've.
up, y'all? What up, Blue Note? Hell yeah. <laughs> y'all give it up for motherfucking Night Wonder, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last night of dinner party. Last set. Thank y'all for coming out, hanging out with us. Y'all give it up for Chahi Sundance, also on the ones and two. That's Bernice Travis at the bass. And that is Justin Tyson on the drums. I got the West Coast connection here with me, my brothers. Y'all know Terrace Martin. Occasional cook. <laughs> and the amazing Mr. Kamasi Washington. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun. This is dinner party. Hope y'all are having dinner. If not, just have a party. <laughs> um, I'm Robert Glasper. Thank y'all for hanging out. Really appreciate y'all. Yeah.
Robert Blaster. Y'all still with us? Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't fucked up yet. Hey. I'm gonna let's, let's, let me try it again. Wait, uh, first off, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. I never told nobody there's no other show. <laughs> but uh oh, the, yeah, it's, exactly. I love you regardless, Terry. No, it's, 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 it's very, it's, it, it, Rob. It's a real secret. It's, it's, it's a deep thing. Let's care. The more y'all drink, the better we sound. <laughs> so just keep drinking. On that note, can I have a double gray goose with a little bit of lime juice? <laughs> Fuck the lime juice. Just do a, a double gray goose. Bro. Double gray goose. Just double gray goose. <laughs> with a splash of air. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, how many of you all been to Los Angeles? Yeah. I like that, so here we go. How many of y'all been to really Los Angeles? Yeah. Lamert Park. Okay, Lamert Park. Word. Compton? Ladera? Ladera? Okay. Hawthorne's a stretch, but I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. A stretch. The jungle. The jungle? Oh. We don't go over there. Yeah. Okay. I play that baseline player. Southgate. Southgate. You know what? I was in love with over, I, I was in love with somebody for three weeks in Southgate. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> come on, see, you know. <laughs> that's, that's down that 10 freeway, you know. That's... Anyway, <laughs> so me and my dear friend by the name of Kamasi Washington, 
That's him right there, obviously. <laughs> we come from a, a, a place called California. Los Angeles, California. Deeper than that, we come from South Central Los Angeles, California. But another layer for that, we come from the Crenshaw District okay. of California. And where we from, you know, it's a lot of soul. It's a lot of soul. It's a lot of soul. You hear, you hear hip hop, jazz, R and B, reggae. Just all the cool shit. Blues. Will Smith, gangster rap. <laughs> Jada Pinkett. You hear all the shit. <laughs> Shout out to Tupac. <laughs> It's all love. It's all love. Will, Will Smith better not jump here trying to slap me. We, you know, we ain't different. Enough. We, we, we fuck Will up. But all jokes aside, y'all, so we come from the Crenshaw district, right? So, you know, on Crenshaw, it's a freeway entrance and exit on Crenshaw and Adams, for those that know or don't know. And if you don't know, when you go to LA, Go to the Crenshaw 10 entrance on Crenshaw and Adams. Um, it's an 89 year old man dancing at that entrance and exit on that freeway. And his name is Valdez. But let me tell you how I met this motherfucker though. I was on house arrest for three months. I know, it, 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 was, a, it was a non violent thing, so don't worry about it. It's all good. But I could only walk about half a mile away from my brother's house. That was the freeway entrance. So this cat named Valdez was there. And I, I assumed he was homeless. So one day I said, you know what? I got a good check today. Let me go give him $20. So I put over my car. I went to the freeway entrance because he's always there dancing, smiling, having a good time. And I said, hey, man, here's $20 for you. He said, I don't need your motherfucking money. I said, what? What do you mean, man? You look like you need my money. He said, no, 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 I don't need your money. I'm not here because I need money. I said, so why are you here? He said, because this is the freeway that takes people from South Central LA, these hard working black folks, Hispanic folks, and they go drive to the west side of LA to go work. So my job every day is when they feel sad or they gotta go to work, is to make them smile on the freeway. So I dance for them to make them smile so they can go to work and feel good about everything. So okay, I put my twin out back in my pocket. I sat out with him for like about three weeks every day. And I saw him get up and start dancing. So, but I noticed he always danced on one motherfucking song. Donny Hathaway, Valdez in the country. On the Donny Hathaway live album. You know, and that was faster. So one day we were sitting there chilling. And we chilling. And then he like, yo, man, hold up. And in mid-conversation, he like, yo, let me stop. Let me go dance for these folks. And I'll come back to the conversation. So... <laughs> He put the song on. Play the original tempo of that song, bro. Remember, he's 89. So he started dancing like this. <laughs> kind of little, you know, little behind the beat all the way. Because, he, you know, he's just older, you know, shit sh moving faster, he moving slower. That's his life. I don't know if nobody's saying here, you cannot escape time. So, I said, damn, bro. I took a hit of the weed. <laughs> I walked down to my house because I could only leave about 600 steps. Like, I'm on house arrest. So, if you leave 601 steps, it's bloop, 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 bloop. So, I just, I go back home. I run home and I go to my drum machine and I get that record out, Badass in the Country, and I start sequencing it, flipping it, and I slowed it down. You know, night one of I'm talking about. We, we we slow the record down. I say, I gotta slow it down. He can dance, so I slowed it down. 
そうだよ。Did the beat and I ran it back to him and I said, Hey, I got something for you. He said, What you got, player? I said, I got a, I got, I got a tempo you could dance to. It's gonna work. And he said, Let me hear it. Another car came up, he started dancing to that tempo. He was like, Bam, bam, bam. It was right on sync and I was like, Get him, Valdez, get him. Get him, Valdez, get him. So, I, 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 you know, man, I, I love to love. And one thing I learned from Valdez is that, first of all, come to find out, <laughs> he, this fucked me up. It was, I, was so be, I was so judgmental in assuming what he looked like and what he dressed like and him being on the street dancing that he didn't have anything. But come to find out, He, 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 he was the superintendent for the LA Unified School District for 45 years. He owned six duplexes on Crenshaw and Somerset. He was rich as fuck. <laughs> he ended up buying me lunch every motherfucking day. And I bought $27 from him. But anyway, y'all, this song is really about as in the country by the great by the god Donnie Hathaway but I flipped it just randomly this dude named is Valdez and he's dancing on Crenshaw so I just flipped it called, and, and I, I called it Valdez off Crenshaw because I wanted something in his tempo and just to remind myself remind others that you know it's only two type of people in this world so I don't give a fuck what y'all say it's takers and it's givers you feel me and Valdez was a giver well he is a giver he ain't dead yet I don't think so. I ain't seen him in three weeks. <laughs> anyway, <y'all. laughs> sorry. Dark humor is real. Thank y'all for coming out tonight, y'all. We're gonna jam this song. It's called Bad Ass of Chris Show. <laughs> Y'all, y'all gonna watch me. This ain't a, this ain't a separate thing. 
Woo! 
Thank you.
Talking shit about sports, you know. He, you know, he, he's, 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 he's one of those guys that's like, you know, he's, he knows all the NBA stats and shit. And he he could argue with Magic Johnson about his record in basketball. <laughs> and him and Robert Glass would go back and forth about different basketball shit. Neither one of these, they don't play basketball for a living at all. That's the one. I got three pointers though. I got three pointers. He got three pointers. <laughs> 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 you had one. Yeah, about 15 years ago. <laughs> 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 15 years ago? <laughs> anyway, y'all. <young. laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. I should, can you just tell that fast story about how when you were just out hanging out and you saw some young kids playing basketball and you said, hey, I'll play basketball with you. And what happened? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even, it wasn't even that. I literally saw the kids, I was like, you know, ball up. And I, you know, they threw the ball to me. And I went down. I, I tried to do a crossover joint. My back was like, nope. <laughs> my, my back locked up on me and I fell on the ground. <laughs> that the call of it was a whole thing. Yeah. You had to cross over to the Cairo. Absolutely, I had to rip it for sure. It's not, it not good. It's not good. I still realize uh, fuck basketball and uh, yeah, but for me. So that's my, that my athlete, Robert Lasper, right there. So this cat right here, y'all, he, he, he's he's working with everybody. Yeah. He's actually. The first time I met him, I said, hey, man, I'm Terrence Martin. He said, hey, man. You know, the first time we met, he gave me 200 motherfucking beats. <laughs> he was in Washington, D.C. So I said, he, this, this motherfucker must live in the studio. Because how's he got this many beats ready for me? For me. And then I found out he gave them to everybody else. But anyway, <laughs> I thought they were mine. <laughs> Hey, y'all, this is my homeboy, my friend. He's a legend. He's worked with everybody. He is one of the members of Dinner Party. He is that element, that boom bat, that thick snare, them high hats, them drums. This is the man that's worked with everybody, y'all. He is hip hop. This is the God, Mr. Ninth Wonder, y'all. Yeah. Hey, 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 Why don't you play a, a, a few of them songs that ain't nobody heard of before? Uh -oh. Them like, them like, cause you know, you're, th th those like small local success hits. That you, you know what, man? <laughs> First of all, New York City, what's happening, what's happening? <laughs> Shouts to my brothers, please give it up for my talent, the brothers that did a party. Shouts to Steven Spielberg here with the bright ass lane. <laughs> So I've been in the game for about 20 years now. This is my 20th year. Uh, I am a beat maker by trade. I chop samples all day. And I happen to be a part of this wonderful outfit called Dinner Party. Uh, I respect the roots of jazz and hip hop. 
Shouts to Roy Ayer, shouts to Herbie yeah. Hancock. And shouts to probably the person that really pioneered hip hop and jazz coming together, uh, the infamous Q-Tip from yes. the tribe. Yeah. So, I'm gonna take about five minutes to run a lot of joints that I've produced over the years. All right. Some of you know ideas, some of you gonna be like, you know he did that shit. But here we go. My love, what did I do to make you fall so far from me?
Hands up for one of the greatest of all time, Knife Wonder on the set. to her, whoever she was. Yeah, whoever she was. More power to her. <laughs> Knife Wonder once again, y'all. We're going to continue with a song that Terrace Martin produced for Kendrick Lamar of the Pippa Butterfly, which I was actually on about nine songs, thanks to Terrace, for the phone call. Good looks, yo. That's pretty good for my career. I mean, it was okay, you know. He literally harassed me and called me every day after we did Good Kid Mad City. I did. And said, if you don't call me on the next one, I'm going to fuck you up. I literally was like, please. Good Kid Mad City is like in my top five of fucking the rap albums of all time. It's a fucking amazing album. And when I when and I, when I when I was living with that album, and I was like, Terrence, please, I don't care if I'm fucking on Cowbell, whatever. It's <laughs> gonna be on something. It's gonna be on one song, please, something. And I happened to be in L.A. and Terrence called me. He was like, Yo, you in L.A.? And I was really in L.A. recording my album um, covered yeah. live at Capitol Records. And I was like, Yo, I'm here. I'm actually recording my album. He was like, Yo, come by Dr. Dre's studio when you finish. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I went by, and it was Terrace and like four other people. And one of the, it was Terrace Thundercat, <laughs> and somebody else, and Kendrick. <laughs> the engineer, Kendrick. It was like five people. And they brought me in to play on uh, for free. <laughs> So I went in there, I played on that. Boom. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I have to stop this fucking story right now. Because <laughs> he's about to get deep and it's going to be all happy, but it wasn't happy for me. 
because up until Robert Glasper came on to the to Butterfly Record, I was the only pianist and keyboardist. And I played the whole record down, right? And I was so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Kendrick thought I was, you know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm like the only musician they've known until Robert is like, man, Tears, you're a fucking genius. You're the best pianist in the world. <laughs> God damn. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> What's funny is I'm, I'm, I'm trying to copy Robert Glasper and Herbie Hancock when I'm playing. And the, the whole crew was like, Terry, you're a genius. You, 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 you're, what, you play saxophone, piano, producer? Exactly, right? So Terry's your genius. So my fucking friend Robert Glasper, my fucking friend, I say, come in and play on one song. We're waiting for you. I told Kendrick, I told Kendrick, because I know how rappers do with better musicians than the ones they know. I say, he's gonna come play on one fucking song, don't play shit up. He said, cool, I got you too. So Robert came and played on this song. He played it down so fast. One take. And you know, I'm the producer, so I'm 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 usually at the board like, yeah man, yeah man. You know, let's try it one more time. And right when I'm about to say, let's try one more time, Kendrick said, oh, that's it, he fucked it up. That's it. That's it. Yeah, man, that's perfect, man. Um, 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 step out. But hold on one second. And, 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 and Kendrick will say, hey, man, you know, what about the other song you played on? Maybe you can play on that one. So I said, yeah, fuck it, it's one more. Fuck it, one more. Next one, boom. Jai, what are you doing? <laughs> right? Because for, right before Robert Lyman did that, I did something like that, but nothing like that. <laughs> so then Kendrick says, hey man, he killed that one. <laughs> what about another one? And you know, that was 9 p.m. It ended up being 2 p.m., 2 a.m. And I, I, I look up, and this mother, this motherfucker has replaced me on all the songs. <laughs> so I told, wow, shit, exactly. Actually, hey, night, night, night. Nice. He was there when Kendrick said, let's get Rap City. And I called you. Yeah. I didn't know this motherfucker was gonna keep his keyboard part though. So nine songs in, now keep in mind, I'm thinking this album is gonna be my, my debut as a pianist. <laughs> this is it, this is gonna do it for me. I'm gonna be a pianist. Robert Glasper comes in, laughs and jokes, a couple of shots of vodka. <laughs> Two hours, one take each song. He plays down the whole fucking album of the, the, the Butterfly. Once again, now, thanks Terrence. <laughs> Fuck that. Good looks for the call. <laughs> <laughs> but in in response in 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 you know. Uh, oh, <laughs> come on, cause that it, so it gets then, deep. It, it gets deeper. Gets deep. Cause I was like, hey, yep. you call me for Pimp Butterfly, and he loves Herbie Hancock, right? I Everybody love, who love Herbie. Like, Herbie. Who doesn't Woo! like Herbie? Love Herbie. Pimp Butterfly comes out. Everybody's loving the album. My band is opening up for Herbie and Chick Corea. They're playing duo oh, wow. in like China somewhere. So my band opens up for Herbie and Chick Corea, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. Normal day. <laughs> so I finish playing. I walk off and I see Herbie and Chick walking towards me. There's a picture of this, by the way. There's a picture of us talking about Pippa Butterfly. Me, Herbie, and Chick. Anyway, Herbie says, man, I love what you did on Pippa Butterfly. That album's so amazing. It's like an opera. I can't stop li listening to it. It keeps changing. In the middle of songs, it changes. He said, I want that for my next album. And I was like, well, I got the guy to call. And I said, I'm going to hook you up with my boy, Terrence. Oh, my. So... 
Next time I was at the studio with Herbie, we were doing an album, This is My Life, whatever. Me and Herbie were doing an album. <laughs> Like a brutal all stars, whatever. Anyway, me and her be way shorter, whatever. It's my life. And while we're at the studio, I called Tiggers real quick. I was like, yo, nigga, whatever you're doing, stop it. Come to the studio now. I'm going to see where Herbie Come now. He was like, gotcha. Terrace is there. I've never seen Terrace come to anywhere so bad. He was there like eight, eight minutes. I was like, were you in the park? And he walked in there and I was like, Herbie, this is who produced the film Butterfly. Boom. And Herbie's like, ah. Oh. And then, like, literally, they had a conversation, and Terrace produced Herbie's next record. Wow. So, you know, boom. So it, it, it worked out that he fucked me. That Robert just totally just disrespected me and just took me off with the paper butterfly because he hooked me up with Herbie Hancock. That's the point. That's the story. I'm just trying to tell both of y'all right now, I'm trying to do some records with Obama. So. Hey, oh, wait, yo. We got you, we got you. Yo, Rob. Anybody runs into him or... No, no, oh, no, 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 no Everybody's about to take pictures with Herbie. I mean, with, with Obama. Okay, let me stop Robert again. Let me stop Robert again. Let me stop Am I wrong? Again. Yes, you're wrong. You're wrong because you're about to tell like a gentle side of the story. Let me tell what your asshole, what your asshole self did to this, this fucking... We're, we're at the White House. Not you there. But oh now, shit, you were there too? That's right. Rap was there too. So we're, we're backstage, but now Obama wants to meet all the musicians. So we go to his quarters, whatever that shit is. <laughs> and when we walk in there, it's me, Rob, Mike. Motherfuckers like Sting, Morgan Freeman. Sting, Pat Metheny. Yeah. It's, it's all kind of cool shit. Right? Uh, Take a picture. Oh, there was a bomb scare, and we're all it, outside. It was a bomb scare. Remember? I stole napkins from the bathroom. Of course. <laughs> And I'm sitting down, so so we standing up. Rob, now Obama's coming down the line. Rob says, hey, because Obama had just tweeted, my favorite song is How Much a Dollar Cost. Oh, Rob says, hey, so. I'm going to tell Obama you did that. Terrence's like, no, no, take the I said, no, 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 don't do it. Because Robert Glasper, if Robert Glasper would tell God, hold up. <laughs> wait before you do a, 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 a whole climate change. Wait, wait for <laughs> I'll tell you something. So Obama's walking down. Robert taps Obama like he just plays basketball with him. <laughs> like, like this though. <laughs> hey, that's Terrence Martin. He didn't say the song first. Obama's like, yo, yeah, great. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. And Rob says, he produced how much a dollar cost. Obama was like, oh, oh, bro. Uh, you remember Obama yeah. called Michelle over there? Michelle, Michelle. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, produced a bunch of dollar cost. <laughs> look, look, look. Uh, I, I love hip hop. Uh, <laughs> That's my first Obama impression. Thank you so much. Anyway, y'all, this is how much a dollar costs. <laughs> All the stories from this yeah. one song. Featuring Justin Tyson on the job. Woo! First of all, this is the one song on Pippa Butterfly I didn't play that I wish I did. Thanks, Terrence. <laughs>
Christ through the drums, ladies and gentlemen. Got some Burton's Travis on the bass. Jockey Sundance on the ones and twos. And of course, the legend himself, Mr. Nice Wonder, ladies and gentlemen. Until the artists have left the stage, thank you so much.